Right, hello, welcome. We are going to continue with Warhammer 2 Total War Return of the Lich Master tonight. I was just showing off some pictures of work d modders had been doing for the Kislev faction. That's not it. I actually got rid of the image. I'll show one. Or should I? Yeah, sure. Uh, these are available to me on the Discord. Look at that model work. So nice. That's the Griffin Legion. Anyway, we've already gone through those. I thought I'd show that off. For the people on YouTube. Stuff is in the works and it's looking fantastic. Anyway, last time we had raised Castle Baston to the ground. And I hope Mousselon is going to claim it because it would be nice if they did. Maximilian de Yudero. Okay. We also recruited our second legendary lord, the Draeskin High King, who is a melee lord, and he has a unique helmet with him, the Helm of the Draeska, which gives uh, constant on himself and surround enemies and, and allies, not enemies, allies around him, replenishment and physical resistance, but a weakness to fire. So that's very nice. Ooh, OVN also had an update. Hmm. Uh. Well. Um. Do they have a book thingy up here? Uh. No, they don't. There was also there was an update for OVN actually, from what I remember, which updated the uh blood dragons. They have a bunch of new stuff now, like the beginnings of the, the factions just being fleshed out a little bit more. Which is nice to see. I think Wallach Harkon actually shows up on the main campaign as well. Anyway. Um, so, what are we going to do now? We've raised Castle Baston. We actually did raise Gisero and Castle Artois, but... No, we didn't raise Castle Artois. We raised it and then they came back. No, we sacked it. Or something. <laughs> something happened. I think we sacked it. Got a huge... Got a large amount of money from it. Then we were going to siege it a second time <clears throat> but I couldn't be bothered so I came down here to Castle Baston um we should probably attack Bordelow I think that would be a good choice next so Kemler yes, right. you can go here out. in camp Drayskin High King He looks very cool. He's got dual axes. That's quite nice. <laughs> he's actually, I see he's actually using a, uh, like a Tomb King's body there. So he's very thin looking. But as you would be if you have been made into pretty much a, uh, I'd imagine he's very much like a, uh, what's it called for? Um, I'll get rid of these zombies. Like the, um, Drog. Drog? Or, uh, Skyrim. You can hear my brain ticking while I'm thinking there like that. Oh, dear. There we go. And, yeah, we don't have any of these available. I don't actually know how to get these. Must first unlock Legion by defiling barrows. Oh, okay, that's how we get them. So there's a reason why we should defile barrows. My two brain cells talking to each other. Oh, I mean. It does take a little while sometimes for the next, uh, for, I, for words to pop up. Anyway, let's end turn after I, uh, you know, stop insulting myself and... <laughs> oh dear. I spend so much time in my own head. <laughs> oh, it was mean I have three. Oh well, thanks. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a crowd. Ugh. What's the Kebler Doomstack? Well, it's a bunch of skeletons and zombies. 
And, um, some spooky ghosts and hex wraiths. Also, welcome. <laughs> Where's Krell? He's there! Uh, we're playing the Return of the Lich Master mod by Kataf and Vandy. Which adds a whole bunch of extra units for the Barrow Legion. Kemlar gets his own army. He's a, actually as a, uh... He's actually functioning as a horde at the moment. So we don't have a settlement. Careful now. To summon me is all but an invitation to join my hordes. And we're kind of exploring it as we go along, because I have had a look at it in the past, but we haven't had a good playthrough. This is the second session of this playthrough, and I'll probably be doing it for at least five, maybe ten. Odd. Yes. I, I I actually am playing with multiple mods. A few too many to list right now. Uh, but not as many as some. Non-aggression pact. Key ones amongst them are like... OVN Lost Factions. Uh... Oh, what's it called? Part Legendary Lords. Um, a bunch of the expanded roster mods, which add extra units to Greenskins, Beastmen, and so on and so forth. Not as many as you, under 60 mods on my side. Yeah, I'm running, I'm really quite limited on that. I have my, uh, what's it called? My mod list here is like 51 I'm subscribed to, and I think I have maybe just over half of those actually active. So maybe about 26 mods active, <laughs> 28 mods active. Anyway. So yes, uh, Kemla, we are going to attack Bordelo, I think, next. We'll send you over to here. Let us wander this way. And we'll get ready to slaughter some more peasants. We have our unique lord, the Draiskin High King. As I said, a melee monster. Although we haven't used him in combat yet, so we'll have to see how effective he is. Um, <clears throat> also, we have this other, we have multiple other things to keep track of. Um, there is a function. Hey! Musulon took Castle Beston. Comes. I also have a mod which gives Musulon a unique, uh, army list as well. Sort of a, a variation of Bretonia mixed with Vampire Counts units. They have mutant peasants. Crypt Ghouls and Black Grail Knights and Black Knights. With a Bretonian theme to them. Uh, that's by Mixu. They colonized Castle Baston. Nice. You'll be able to expand. And you're my friend. So that will help me. Um, what was I talking about before then? Oh yes, we have multiple other uh, resources to worry about. Necromatic power. Which we want to hire because it gives us uh, bonuses. The higher the necromatic power we have, the more... The less upkeep we have to pay for our units. And we can also re recruit our armies faster. And it's cheaper to recruit them. We also have lives. Which... I don't know how you gain more. That means if Kemla dies, he can come back. So, I was increasing necromatic power. But getting the uh, Draeskin High King put our necromatic power from plus one to zero. So... We will get more by getting his uh, unique items, which generate some necromatic power. Also these memories, some of these memory skills uh, give necromatic power. So we'll probably get one of those next. Like, eh. This one, I think. Lost Memories, the Lich of Verm Vermisse. Um, okay. I want you to continue recruiting your army. Just get this. We can still resurrect units, and we have our own units here. Skeleton Spear Warriors and Skeleton Warriors. They're basically the same as these. They're slightly weaker though. Actually, they've got higher charge bonus, but they've got less armor. Kemula has, a, has an ability which gives them 10 extra armor, so these are a little bit better. Um, I'm also going to recruit some shield breakers, which are armor-piercing skeletons. 
with great swords. And we also have these skeleton spear throwers, which are anti-large. We also have law, um, heroes which we can recruit at some point, but I don't have any available right now. White King, Barrow King, and we have a various Shadow Druids, but I think we have to do certain things to get those available to recruit. Okay, what do I want to upgrade your horde with? Um, Necromatic Efficiency. Yep, we'll get that. Increase horde growth. We're not really hurting for money, 20,000. There we go. Enter. Uh, I might want this mod. What is this mod? This mod is Never Obsolete AI Lords. Or Knob. <laughs> I like the, uh, the, uh, the um, Lord. Acronym for that. Uh, yeah, what's this? Description. Ah, finally. I've united Ulth 1 and have secured all the port cities. I've raised many powerful armies, and Tyrion has all his artifacts. I think I should be prepared once I reach the shores of Nagaroth to face my arch nemesis Malekith. Oh boy, I wonder how powerful he's become. What? Why are you still level 4? Okay. Is this something which increases the, uh, gives AI legendary lord bonuses experiences experience every four turns so they can get ahead on their regular lord counterparts? They should become more significant in your campaigns, santh santh thanks to this change. After every 10 levels, they will gain ex gradually less experience until they reach level 30. After that, they won't receive any bonus XP. Okay, okay. So, I suppose it's to make up for if a faction is not at war with other factions, their lords aren't going to be necessarily that high level. That makes sense. Uh... And what's this other one? Uh, if the sound is gone, that's because I'm currently tabbed out looking at, uh... Ah, uh, I'm looking at the Steam Workshop pages. They were obsolete generic lords. Uh, oh, this is a similar thing to the other one, is it? A lot of armies are left by extremely low-level generic lords. Oh, okay, yep. One of them's legendary lords, the other one's generic lords. Ooh. Be the best around. Uh, a recent clutch of reports regarding ill discipline in the lower ranks is cause for concern. Clearly, clods are being hired. <laughs> this has to stop. Recruitment costs have risen accordingly, but new recruits begin two ranks higher. Yes, these new zombies are completely unruly. Uh, Kemlo, what? Are you, where are you getting them? Get that. Now we'll be getting plus one to necromatic power per turn. Uh, Domination is ours. Yeah, just start raiding the region. And I want you to move to be close to him. Encamp. And no. Ooh. I saw that. How did I get that to appear? Ah. Let's just ignore that. Okay, so it seems like... If you click Recruit Lord, it doesn't show up any. But if you then click the banner, it will actually show the Lords with... The normal Lord list you can recruit. But that's not in theme. We, 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 we're only allowed to have armies based on the... Uh, Legendary Lords, we can, uh, you know, recruit normally, so we won't do that. Even if we could, we don't have the, uh, odd growth to get them. Ah. Pardon me. Just having a bit of my biscuit. Hmm. 
We can see a bunch of the factions added by Ovi and Lost Factions. <clears throat> Araby, uh, Halflings. Uh, oh, what else? Blood Dragons. Trolls. Clan Ogma. Albion. Tree Blood. They're not all completely finished. So. Just let me play. Well, thank you. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. Bordello. What's your army looking like, peasants? Knights? You don't have walls. You're right for the taking! Kemla, march up there and deal with them. Mm, we're gonna have to build that. And... You go... to there. And... Oh, you can encamp at uh, 25 movement range. Nice! Okay. Hey, Musalon, are you ready for another settlement? Now oh, you're tallying out. Hmm. Ooh, pardon me. Don't want my pop filter. Okay. There we go. I've got it very precariously balanced. Um. That could be a problem. Tried it a Manan. Minus 16 leadership. One hit. Got a lot of cavalry. We've got a lot of bodies, though. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> Pardon me. Mm, my tea is trying to kill me. I'd be betrayed. <laughs> oh, you've noticed that as soon as they start to have a doom stack, I started steamrolling and it wasn't fun anymore. Yeah, it can get a little like that. Um, oftentimes I find that when I get a doom stack or when it starts to get a roll, I sort of keep going until I come across any, like, heavy resistance, and I'm just sort of like, I'm so lazy now from rolling over everything, I can't be bothered playing the battle. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like the opposite problem. Because you get induced into the habit of auto-resolving, you're like, ah, oh, this is, you know, I'm just collecting huge swaths of land. It's like, oh, now I have to actually play a battle and put effort in. <laughs> you like how Kemler says to these zombies to commit. Like if they had any ch choice or not. <laughs> yeah. I wonder whether he talks to them or not. Probably. Ah, zombie, how are you feeling today? Good, good. I had a zombie come up to me today. He was complaining about his lot in life. He wants better health care. <laughs> or dental. That's when you put the difficulty up. Nah. <laughs> I only play on normal. As I've mentioned. Uh, okay. Do that. I mean, with all the mods, sometimes it is a challenge. Armies of trolls. Oh boy. Go there. Glooms, you go over there. You shield breakers go over there. You go there. Our skeletal spear throwers are going to be very useful against their cavalry. And our hex wraiths, I'm going to have to try and keep them alive. They have a lot of cavalry. They're probably going to swarm them. Okay, here we go. You lot, you lot. Put you on. 
stand ground. I'm gonna move you back here. Uh, they're gonna have their reinforcements coming in off the map, but I'm not going to try and catch them before they move together. We're zombies and all that, we're slow moving. Yeah, they were, and they positioned themselves back up there anyway, so. This also means I get to have my uh, Draskin High King and uh, there's Krell. Draskin High King, go over there. Let's organize this and I'm being impatient, not waiting for them all to come on the map, which means it's going to get all disorganized. Uh oh. You move back here. Zombies! Uh, skeleton spears. I want you behind them. Skeleton swords. Like that. If you've got a problem, just chuck zombies at it. You might still have a problem after it. But, you know, they'll be, uh, buried underneath a pile of zombies. Put you here. So, what do you look like? Neat. Yeah, you're like a mummy type thing. It might look nice if his skin is sort of darkened. Maybe he looks more like the like the skin colour of the Draugr, considering he would probably be embalmed. Uh, but in a different manner from the uh, Tomb Kings. Because he looks- his, his body looks a bit... Like, sandy. So if he had like a darker, sort of leathery look to him, that might work better for his skin. His helmet's neat. It's an interesting combination of a uh, depth guard helmet with some deer antlers attached to it. Yeah. Ooh. That helmet of his is really nice too. It gives very nice bonuses. As an old timer playing Total War for a long time, it's funny that I've only gotten some interest in Warhammer very recently. I've, uh, well, yeah, I mean, there's the whole Warhammer Total War is showing off Warhammer Fantasy Battles, which isn't a thing anymore. Um, personally, I played the tabletop, um, before I played Total War. Um, but I stopped playing tabletop around... 2008 or 9 or something like that. And I think I started playing the Total War games. It must have been around that time. It was around when Napoleon came out because I got a uh, box set with all the Total Wars up to Empire all at once. It was really, really uh, effective way to get into the series. And I played through them in order. Though I didn't play Medieval Total War because that was difficult to get running. I would like to do a stream of that sometime. Should you read up with a couple of books? I can't really recommend the books myself. I haven't read too many of them, that's why. I do have one Warhammer Fantasy book. Um, and I did enjoy it. It's not very complicated. Uh, Skaven Slayer is the one I have. Which, it's enjoyable read. I don't- I haven't read any others other than that. Sorry. When I say I can't recommend them, I mean more because I haven't read them. Not that they're bad. I've heard good things about a bunch of the Warhammer books. Um, personally, I think I hear more about the Warhammer 40,000 books than the fantasy books. Got Trek series are the major ones for fantasy. Warhammer 40,000 would be... I can't really remember. I did read some of those actually in high school. 
But that was before I was really into Warhammer, so I didn't know what I was reading too much. I think that was... Ra Ravenor? Ravenor series? Ravenor series? The, uh... Inquisitor guy who's in a... Life support box. Like, what's his name from Star Trek? Um, so I was reading that and it was entertaining, but I didn't really understand what I was reading, so. It must be interesting, they made a whole game out of it, several even. Warhammer Fantasy? Or Warhammer 40,000? There's a lot of lore to cover. So. There is a lot of detail. Um. As I said, the Gotrek series are the ones which I know for the most part for fantasy. Look at all these knights running all over the place. The knights aren't even committing. They're just running willy-nilly all over the place. You just like, do this. <laughs> Sorry for slow down. <laughs> My poor computer is doing its best. Keep moving up. Uh... Yeah, just cast that on them. Uh oh. Knight! Knight through the forest. Hey! What are you doing? Okay, you can come back over here. You are not anti-large. Where's that Drayskin hiking? There he is. How are you going, lad? Cutting apart some peasants? Good job. There is some, sure some hype on for have 40,000. 40k is worrying with the new direction the games workshops going trying to be more family children friendly I don't know if hmm. I don't really know if that I like what they've been doing with it they've been sort of advancing the plot line for it and they've got the Primarchs coming back which is nice so um Better than the uh, whole stasis thing for quite a while. Mm. Can you like shoot them? So many knights. Hey, where's uh... Albrecht? There he is. Krell! Go deal with Albrecht. My spooky hex race are running around and they spy some peasant bowmen. Maybe. I don't want you dying. You're rank nine. I am dishonored. Come on, the more we kill, the more frames we'll get. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. Atrophy and decay. 
Hey, Krill, where are you? There you are. Have you, like, carved apart Elbrick to Bordello? Flying leap. Look at the size of him compared to that paladin. Wonk. You're, uh... <laughs> You're swinging your axe the wrong way. You hit a zombie. Okay. Charge of Knights Errant. <laughs> Is there finesse in this battle? I can't tell. I don't think so. There's Elbrick. Charge there. Uh, okay, go there. Get, there we go. Hold down those knights. So we can stick a few, like, spears in them. Go after that peasant mob. Charge them. Ooh. <laughs> what are you doing all the way over there, lad? <laughs> Get back here. You're shirking your duties. Hey! Was that tidy? Was that neat? Was that a display of martial prowess? No, not really. Did we throw undead at the problem until it went away? Yes, definitely. Personally, I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. Once again, our hex race carrying the battle for us, pretty much. Get away! The lady's blessing is loud. Oh, what's this? What's the fix? Four hundred forty thousand. It's getting more family friendly. I don't really know if it is. I mean, hmm. I don't know. I won't get- I won't get into all that. They do have some children's books based on Warhammer Fantasy and 40k. Which look to be an amusing read, if nothing else. Uh... Like, there's the one which involves, like... Kids involve- kids, like... Discovering a Skaven plot in a city, and then there's one in Warhammer 40,000, which is, uh... I think it involves a Necron? <laughs> Something like that. Uh... <laughs> sounds... Sounds quite amusing. I would kind of like them to be redone, but with, like, the appropriate grim darkness of Warhammer 40,000. So... <laughs> you'd have, like... You know, oh, one of the kids in the 40k book is like, he's a uh, tech priest or something like that in, the tra in training, or he's like really adept at technology. And <laughs> they need more like cybernetic limbs. I don't know why they didn't do that. Kids would love that. I would have loved that. You know, a book where the a book where like one of the characters has like a robotic arm. That'd be pretty awesome. I had books. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. 
I read a lot of goosebumps. Awesome saying. That was the Wicked series. That was, uh... It wasn't really my thing. <laughs> My thing, but I got them all anyway. At Wicked, it was a series done by Paul Jennings and Boris Gleisman. I think they're Australian. YouTube put a Dutch TV show for kids behind an 18 plus war. Oh no! Some of those uh, children programs can be quite scary. I think one of them from the UK, which is rather infamous, is Mr. Blobby. Ah, <laughs> uh, so weird. It's just more bizarre than it. One of the children that the main characters is friends with one of the early races. Their objective is to kill all humans. Uh. I mean, it's not completely unheard of, even in Warhammer 40,000. Like, you have the uh, whole... Uh, where is it? Pardon, I, I'm wrestling with, um, there we go. Uh, you have the whole... Ow. You have the whole, um, uh, rogue traders, which have more dealing with the alien races than anyone else, so... You know, it's not unheard of of having humans working with and training with Eldar. Um, and the like. Even in the uh, Warhammer Fantasy book, like having a human working with Skaven is not unheard of. I believe there's human doomsday cultists which fight alongside the Skaven, leaving them to be a, you know, herald of the apocalypse and the Skaven is sort of like, well, you know, if they're going to fight for us without being paid, then that's good enough. Anyway, Emma and Anvil. Outstanding personal courage and martial skill are not always enough. Today, the Hammer became the Anvil. Defeated Albrecht de Bordelow. In the attack plus 15, we're fighting at sea. Chaos stirs. Dreg. Yes, master. Yes, master. Income from post battle loot plus 10%. Better the foe talk. Can we attack here now? We can. Do I just want to auto-resolve that? Uh, what's the settlement look like? Dreskin High King's army is barely touched. Oh, it's this map. We've seen this map before uh, in past playthroughs. But sure, what with their weaker number and our hordes of the undead, let's just attack. Also, it gives me another chance to get rid of this pop-up. The uh, pop-up is... an odd bug. Uh. I was actually doing some painting today. I was working on my ghouls. I didn't get too much done, though. I gave two of them a uh, goblin green undercoat. And one of them has a, what's it called, a flesh wash. Which really works, works really well with the green. It's a really nice vivid green look. I'm always worried out if I run out of flesh wash because it's the old one. I have to buy more off the internet or something. <laughs> they don't make it anymore. Okay, so here's a nice map. There's Bordelo. This is a another one, GCCM, the uh, maps made by the community, which helps which helps vary things a fair bit. We have some unique maps for the uh, different settlements. Bordelo here has walls around here, 
walls over there. We have winding roads and the big docks over there and the castle up here, which is where the capture point is. I think it's right here. So, very nice. Uh, and we will just be assaulting the walls directly. Because we're undead. Don't think about the... Don't think about the whole, uh... Sieging situation too much. Go there. There's our battering ram. I am going to put... Who are you? Oh, you're them. There we go. Um... Yeah, skeletons, you can go on that. Hex race. Go over there. And you two go there. Can I go there? Like that. You there, you there. Okay. Arch forward. Attack there. And go on. Oop. What's this? Hello. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, they might have uh, flesh wash still. They might have an equivalent. I don't know if it would be exactly the same, though, as what I'm worried about. Because it like, looks really, really nice. I was lucky and I got a, bo I got a whole bunch of uh, older paints, which <laughs> lasted much had lasted much better than the uh, paints I had back in 2004 and 2008 or whatever. They were the ones with the... Um, the pop, the uh, bolt gun shell shaped pop top ones, which all of mine just hardened into plasticky stuff which you can't even mix water into. Oh. <laughs> the more recent ones they've come out with are much better though. But even then, I like the ones with the white caps on them better than the uh, clear caps they have, because the white caps have a better hinge on them. Here we are talking about paint pots. <laughs> Welcome. Also welcome. I do more than just complain about pain. <laughs> We're currently sieging a settlement. Uh, Krell, go up there. You go up there. They probably have got an equivalent of flesh wash. It's hard to describe it. It's kind of... I, I, I describe the flesh wash as having like a... Sort of a yellowy, sort of curry powder type colour to it, which works really well with the green. Okay, get up there, Go up there. You're all having to mosey on over here. Go there. Heal them. We see another mod here, which I have active. Uh, the defensive stakes mod. Stakes for peasants, it's called. It allows the peasants for Bretonia to drop stakes, which have anti-large uh, damage on them. Only anti-large, so they automatically attack cavalry, which gets within range of them. They count as constructs. They have very little health, but they have very high missile... Pretty high missile resistance. Um, but they do crumble and disintegrate. But the AI is, has some problems with using them. They're not supposed to be able to use them on walls, but it doesn't seem to really stop them. Oh well. You go there, and you go there. Can Krell get a few stakes as kills? He can! I have killed one stake. They also move around slightly when they get kill, but they're stationary for the most part. <laughs> Just don't get vampires to attack them. Vampires instantly get killed if they attack stakes. Uh, <laughs> they don't actually. I'm just making a bad joke. Uh, <laughs> Hey, gate's down. Get in there. Crow. Get in there. 
Oh, zombies, you're so slow. Go over here. Where are we getting the, uh, vampires? I'm in trouble. Oh, interesting. Okay. That might be something which needs to be mentioned. The Barrow Guardians don't have a static 2D image, so it's using a vampire's image for it. Oh, look at him. The, glo <laughs> the, glo the glooms are so happy. They're like, ha <laughs> Meh. <laughs> Get them! Bonk. Get to see the Barrow Guardians. They have a bit of a unique look to them. They have the bucket helmets with some antlers on them. Where's Krell gotten to? Oh, there he is. Um, yeah, climb up there. Climb up there. Get through here. Camel up. You move through. And raise another unit of undead. <laughs> Where's Krell? Say the thing! Say the thing! Heinrich That's not it. I am the Lichtmaster, Heinrich Kemmler. I am Kemmler, Heinrich Kemmler. Atrophy and decay. Heinrich Kemmler. Just stop saying your name like a Pokemon. I am back, Heinrich Kemmler. See my sepulchral art, Heinrich Kemmler. No, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Who are you? Lich Master! On death's wings. At once. Get over there. Oh, the glooms are climbing the walls. Do you have to be? Whatever. You lot, come in. Don't climb the wall. Get here. Wait, what's your name? Mellowboard Sink Sinkbald. Okay. Doom comes to murder. Get away. I rush. Great slaughter. Heinrich Kemmler. Tremble mortals. Uh die mortals. Okay. More zombies! Climb the walls. Most of my army's just waiting outside. Just get in there. Just charge. That's a good evil laugh. Charge those nine peasant bowmen over there. There you are. Uh, nice and well, they're anti large. Well. Charge! <laughs> there you are. Spooky ghosts have come for you.
Chop, chop. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, I did think... I thought that was the crow which I was selecting. Keep marching up the road! Hey, that's pretty cool. Actually got his staff upright. <laughs> A terrible duo. Okay. Next race. Have you dealt with those knights? You have. There's only three of them left and they're still broke. They're only broken. Swing. Right. Go and attack those peasants. And... Really? Just charge. Whatever. They don't have any significant uh, defense now, so... Weakest charge ever. Maybe you could do better against those archers. Hey, there we go. Get up there. Charge a few more of them down. Said, get them. <laughs> okay. End battle. Size of victory. As it should be. Okay. I mean, we did deal with most of their army outside of the wall. Yeah, we lost a film of few. Whatever, they're easily replaced. Uh, Albrecht de Bordello was there. I didn't even notice him. Uh, right, so, from this, uh, we'll probably sack the settlement, get a nice amount of money from it, do I want to raise it? Raising it doesn't give us anywhere near as much money, but it does have the potential for, um, defiling the barrow later on. Okay, so what do we get? 5,000. We don't need the money too much. Um. Mm. I don't want to occupy it. Because we're a horde at the moment. And I have a goal in mind when it comes to uh, occupying a, a specific settlement. Blackstone Post, which is up there. Which will need high... A uh, necromantic power for. Mm. Yeah, just raise it. Yes. Time is right. Go. Find 
Okay. And you're fine because you didn't raise it, so you're not suffering going to suffer from attrition from that. Um I will get uh, let's see. Armor, physical resistance, constructs, ether or monster unit. We don't have any of those. I'm going to get you the restless dead so you can keep up with Kemlar a bit better. Go. Let us make do. And Kemlar. You can get you can get you a bard and nightmare now. Is that the flying mount? No. Um, maybe it is. The speed doesn't seem to go high enough, so I don't think it is. Uh, Master of the Dead or a Dark Majesty. I think I'll just get you Necromatic Power, Council of the Nine, because I want more of that. Yes. Go, get that. Okay, and we can get a few, more scum, a few more zombies to flesh out the army he goes to 66 even if it isn't it's worth it i mean maybe i kind of like kemla being on foot <laughs> as odd as as odd as it is i think he looks a bit better on foot yes aesthetics is coming into this decision here um so Dealt with that. Yes. Uh, population surplus. Two more points for another one. Two more turns for another point. Okay. Um, I'm going to let this turn go over. And... I wonder what will happen. Waterloo doesn't really have another army, so I don't think they can do much against us. Um, I'm gonna have to attack Aquitaine next, I think. Completely. Um. Hmm. I wonder if the dwarves are still attacking Bretonia. Last time the uh, Karak Zifflin up here, I think it is. Hey, look at that. Looks like they're actually going to uh, settle Ordolo. Next turn. Nice! We can help Musulon take control of Bretonia. Uh, last time Karak Zifflin was attacking Caron. Should still be doing that? Hmm. And we get our Tomb Blade, Chaos Tomb Blade quest. Embed a White King hero in following Lord's army. I have to get one. I'm going to have to figure out how to get one of those. Okay. Also, I am just going to take a brief break, so I'll be back in a moment. So, back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Part of that. Right, now, we had just taken... Um, yep, Bordeaux has been raised. Um, it is forbidden. Actuane. Aquitaine, do you have walls? You do not. I need more minions. Let's go here. Strike out. In camp. You can go there. And in camp. You also have a point I can spend. What do I want in your army? What are your bonuses? You give charge bonus for skeletal cavalry and infantry units. And also minus 50% cost for horde recruitment chains. So these are cheaper. Get shambling hordes. I am going to get on you. Um. Uh. There, yeah, get risen warriors. Why not? Okay, and we can recruit. 
stuff. Combine all these. Get another unit of those. And that. Get some spears. Okay, there we go. And you've got a full stack? You do. Good. Combine you. Combine you. Get rid of you. Get some... Go. And enter. And next turn we'll attack Aquitaine. And Bordelow will hopefully be claimed by Musalon. Ugh. How are they going to try and slow down Musalon's army from taking uh, Waterloo? I don't think that will work. They're right outside the ruins of it. I mean, I like that Musalon is being so proactive and taking the ruins. It does make it difficult for me to be able to defile the barrows if they keep taking them. Because the barrows get better the longer they're around for, so... Uh, if they keep colonizing them... But don't mistake me for some hedge wizard. I have more important masters than you. Then I can't get, like you know, the better things. Or, they're not as effective. Ah, uh, defensive alliance. No, you're gonna make a lot of enemies and I don't want that. Oh, we get a bonus to our uh, diplomatic relations with chaos factions. That's why the beastmen keep talking to me in diplomacy. Owls of the Abyss. Midland is in grave danger, engulfed by hordes of chaos who spill forth from the warp grift at the brass keep. Also, Marienburg and Artois have peace. So are you still at war with the dwarves? You are. That's neat. Uh... What would we want next? I wanted to see whether I could get some... heroes. Do we get heroes up here? No, that's Barrow Guardians. Barrow King. Unlocks hero recruitment based on defiled Barrow's outcomes. Oh, okay, so that's how we get them. So I suppose you just have a high chance of getting them if you uh, raise a better Barrow. Or raid a better Barrow. Or ruin. Uh, Not in this world or the other. Okay, how are you looking? Plenishment wise. Mm, I'm going to remove these three. Replace them. Ooh, we actually have some more units, so I am going to get some skeleton spears. And we have a choice between unquiet horsemen, unquiet lances. <clears throat> um, and they're not exactly the same. Uh, let's see. Shock Cavalry. They have 60 armor, 60 leadership, 78 speed, 24, 25, 25, and 52. And the Unquiet Horsemen are... They've got 30 more armor, minus 3 leadership, the same speed. Uh... Two less melee attack, eight more melee defense. Minus one weapon strength, but they're also anti-large. But I think that's just because of a bonus we have, which gives all of our units plus three bonus versus large. Oh no! Plus 14 bonus versus large. That's actually quite a lot. That's the same as spears. Are they armed with spears? Uh, 26. That'd actually be pretty good against cavalry. Bretonian cavalry, so we'll get two of those. 
Okay. Hand turn. That's actually really nice having a cheap uh, cavalry choice, which is anti large like that. Or an undead faction. Okay, and you recruit another army. Is that going to be, uh... Albert Again? Right, where will we want to go don't after this? Oh, hello. Words, what do you want? Non-aggression pact. Mm, no. You're at war with Musalon. Uh, not aggression pact? Nope. I like that we're helping Musalon. We'll have to go up there and get rid of Leoness. <clears throat> but at the moment, let's just attack Aquitaine. Yep. Move there. Can attack that. Ah, uh, do I want to get rid of Matthew? No, he's just gonna run off. Where's your? Or oh, there it is. Move to here. And camp. And should we just climb over the walls? Let's see. Their army is a lot of the uh, battle pilgrims, which have frenzy. 82 leadership. They've got armor piercing, but they don't have bonus versus inventory. Peasant bowmen, poisoned <laughs> ox arrows. Um, yeah, we can deal with that. Okay, we'll just knock the gate down with our uh, skeletons or zombies. <clears throat> One or the other. Hey! And it's this map. Okay. Oh, we actually have to build the uh, siege weapons. So they'll probably attack us outside the settlement then. And turn. <clears throat> Pardon me. Playing as a horde faction does mean that we just spend a lot of our time ending turns, but... Not a big deal. So, after getting rid of Aquitaine, do I want to go down and attack Carcassonne? Oh, hello. Or, do I want to go up and attack Leoness and Carol? I think we might have to go south anyway to uh, get to the location where we need to go for the Tomb Blade. Uh, unless I teleport there. Playing as any faction means you spend a lot of turns ending them. <laughs> uh, I suppose so. I suppose so. Ah, <laughs> uh, I said something which uh, which is kind, which was. Kind of an obvious statement. Oh dear. Um. Right. Sorry, Matthew is just on his own. But he's going to probably... <laughs> appear on the battlefield close to where the armies spawn. Hey, Ronald! Thanks! That's a nice amount. 
Uh, let's do the same. We all want our buddies in this battle. So, go there. You go there. You go there. Go there. The glooms and you. Go there. You go there. You go there. And you two can go there. There we go. Kemla. You go there. I am Kemla. Right, that, 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 and that. Okay, let's have a look at our unquiet uh, horsemen. Yes, they are armed with spears. So anti, uh, anti large cavalry. It's quite nice. <laughs> they look very top heavy with the horses without any barding on them. It's just because the horses are skeletal and they're so skinny. <laughs> Can't be very comfortable. I suppose they don't really care. Okay. You can go here. There's the rest of our forces come onto the battlefield. Yeah, there's Matthew. Matthew all the way over there. That. There we go. Heinrich Kemmer. Uh Turn around like this. Going. And how will I set up my other army? To envelop them? Or just like a double uh Double deep. Mm. I think enveloping though will be best. The zombies are just so slow to move anywhere. Come on. Just go in front of our other army. I'll team you up with my main army. And the skeletons can go on the flank. They're faster. That. There. There. Like that. Heinrich Kemmler. Any other zombies? There we go. Wah. Let's see. Hmm, yes, yes. Peasants. And a paladin. The flaming sword. Heinrich Kemmler. Uh, Lord of Undead. Crow, turn around. Whose orders? <laughs> Heinrich Kemmler. Lichmaster. Okay, um, you can go over here, you can march up this way, like that, you can go like there, you can go there, and you can go there, you can go there. The dead walk! Shamble. Is there some new noises to the zombies? Maybe not.
I do like the colour of the Barrow Legion on the zombies. The uh, bluish teal, dark teal looks really nice on them. Looks good on the skeletons too. Oh, they are coming to attack me. Legions to me. I move. Behold, it is time. Okay. You go there. You can go over there. Ooh, hello. You're thinking to get a sneaky on me. You are knights of the realm. You are anti-large. What's your anti-large bonus compared to mine? Mine's like 14. Yours is 10. Uh, ours is 17, actually. Actually better than yours. Yeah. And you'll see here we're getting bonus versus large on our hex race, but it's only three. That's because of a skill which we have. It's perhaps a little low on the uh, requirement for giving the bonus versus large. It's three. I mean, it certainly helps, but it's not that much. Come on. Get in there. Nice. We caught them and they really didn't have a chance. Help! They're summoning trees! Where's it going on? Let's get rid of this trees. Move around. Charge those battle programs. Wham! There we go. You should be able to deal with him pretty well. What's Kemler Krell up to? Get stuck in. Okay. Charge off him. Charge! Bonk. Keep moving, keep moving. You just has been wiped out? What is this? Okay, come around here. <laughs> Look at this massive blob here. Gonna be able to get rid of them. The battle programs have frenzy. 
So they have immune to psychology while they've got it. But that just means we need to lower their leadership by 50% and, or by half and there we go. No, oh, Grail Knights. Charge them again. There we go. Terrified. Uh oh. Camelot, lad. What's going on? I was focusing too much of other things. <laughs> this massive ball of infantry over here. Get moving. Yeah, those battle pilgrims. Charge him over there. Oh, I don't want to lose you. Charge them. They're squishier. Sam. Come around here. Pfft. So many peasant archers. Charge there. Charge there. Maybe you can terrify them? You're terrified. Okay, charge them now. Good, good. Spearman, also good. How's this massive blob over here going? Let's uh, group up. Oh, zombies. <laughs> Get over here. that. This is why I'm kind of glad that battles don't necessarily get much bigger than this, because I can't 
command all the troops. All is chaos. Go back over here. You charge those peasants. You said Ah. Oh. Kill them. Chase them down. Glooms. The glooms are a etheral unit. Uh, they cause fear. They have uh, spirit levy, which gives them melee defense and leadership bonus. It costs us speed. However, uh, when their leadership gets low, apparently they just break really, really easily. Okay, well. That could have been done better. Close victory! Ah, uh, Getting another close call there. Uh, so many units, I sort of just... I can't pay attention to all of them, it just becomes chuck things at things. <laughs> I suppose I could manage it better. Have long lines and uh, envelop. Focus on doing that. Uh. Anyway, we won in the end. It's not really like any of the units we lost of that valuable. We did lose the Hex Race or the uh, Barrow Guardians, so that's fine. We did lose the... Uh, Spear throwers, but yeah, they're not that good. <clears throat> uh, he got Matthew got sixty kills. Kemla got thirty four. Got into melee a bit there. Um, what should we get? Uh, ooh, we got a banner. Oh, Scarecrow banner. I used to really like the idea of that, then I realised it was only for flying. Um. Okay, just murder the captives. Oh, we got a Warpstone Hunter. Income from all buildings, plus 4%. Local region. I suppose that doesn't affect our Horde, our horde buildings. Because they don't have a region? I don't actually know. Man Black Tribe declares war on Karoon. And Okay. All the might also. Destruction. Oh, Kembla. I want uh Ah uh, yes, this is something we get eventually. Severance.
which uh, is uh, Kembler cl Kembler claiming his independence and uh, sort of calling himself, you know, a lich master, separate, not under the command of Nagash, so it annoys them. Makes him more powerful, gets greater arcane conduit, which is nice, but it apparently makes Krell weaker. By apparently making him degrade over time. I don't know how that will work with the mod I have, which means that I don't have unit degradation. Um, what he cloaked as Oh. Cloak of Mr. Shadows. Oh, that, that goes on top of it. 10%. Okay, so that gives him 25% uh, physical resistance. Pretty nice. Uh, let us get... What are we getting? One, two... Uh, oh, let's get Master of the Dead. Or lower uh, the cost of raised dead. Also gives him Master of the Dead passive regeneration right. Oh. You're fine. Ring wall. There we go. Get them. And... Them. What's that garrison looking like? Yeah. Okay. We'll keep sieging you until we get some siege towns. Destroy them! Do you take me for a challenge? Oh, hey, look. Musulon took uh, gets a roll, too. Oh. And turn. I have to look at taking Blackstone posts at some. Wow. Enough uh, necromatic power. I see there's a lot of corpses up around Helmgard. Hmm. The greenskins are indeed a blight on the lands. Mayhaps I can tame them. What do you want? Defensive alliance. No. Good. We just gotta kill you anyway. Oh, Mutsalon got peace with the skull smashes. You know, I did accept that because they're at war with Mutsalon. Probably for the best that I waited. If I had gotten it before Musalon had declared peace, I probably would have gotten a uh, negative thing with Musalon. Bergen Hordes. And... Ooh. Isleheart was raised. Anyone in particular? No. Doesn't look like it. How many casualties? 1,991. Okay, um, commit, minions, commit. you are fine there. Oh, we actually have our skeleton spear throwers still. Five in each of them. They're gonna make the difference. Mm, three more turns. Sure. Or well, four more turns until they start suffering attrition. Sure, we'll just... Wait to get a few more towels and wait for that. Yeah. 
Also gives some time for Musalon to build up. I think we'll be getting like two necromatic power per turn because of the memories we've gotten. So if it's the chaos, declare war at Reichland. And we fail a mission. Count Noctilus. Night class von Karstein has approached us, requesting resources to go on some bizarre quest into a lost sea realm he calls the Galleon's Graveyard. He will no doubt be resentful if we refuse. Okay. I think he's already there. I haven't seen that event before. Commit, minions, commit. Um... Get rid of you. You can destroy them. Combine. You now they die. Get those instead. Okay. And you have enough for risen warriors. We'll get that. It also gives us income, so. Kill them, my children. Also quite nice. Uh, next one is four. We actually have enough of that. Oh, because we're not... Right, because we're sieging. Uh, put that on. Um... More turns. More towers. Bring war, turn them to death. Enter. Oh, part of me. be tempting to go over to Ulthwan. Take some of their regions, parts of their northeastern shore are held by Skaven and Chaos. There's also the regions held by Dark Elves there, the uh, Urges of Cain, I think they're called, or something like that. They have been wiped out. I think they've been. You went up a level! What do you get now? Mm, I am going to give you... Resilience. Get more armor for your skeletons. Okay, and... Let's just do this battle. We have four siege towers and a battering ram. They have a small garrison. I'll just play it so that we'll... The plan is to play it to have a better result. Now the battles have been going, however. Um, the result might not be as good as I hope. We probably... Split up our forces. I mean, depends which side of the settlement we come in. We appear over here or over here. I can attack both of these with our two armies if we're over here. 
this only has a very short wall and this one also is the gate there. I do like how compact this siege map is. Very nice. Gamble, of course. That was barely anything. Actually, the gate's there. Not there. Uh, our other army is coming in over there. Okay, so I am going to put two of the towers here. Way out of them. You can do this. I hope we can put the towers here. There is a bit of a moat there, but should be fine. Okay, battering ram there. Skeletons on there. Go over here. You can just sit back here in the forest. Uh, you two as well. You can go there. Our guardians are over there. 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 You go there. I am the Kemlar. Heinrich you can Kemlar. go there. See my that. And you can all just sit in the front. Okay. Do that. Cool. And we'll march this army up, put them into towers, and move these towers over here. And Krell. Heinrich Kemmler. Okay, I want you in there, and you in there. I want the rest of you to march up here. Let's get High King there. Zombies, you can shamble up. As you... At your own speed. Oh, what I'd give for some bats. It really help with this arch with this arches. You can go up there. You can go over there. Zombies can't climb the walls there. So just go like that. Crawl. Get up there. You can get here. Go there. Blue ones can go on the, up on the walls as well. There is that tower, the lace tower. It's got trebuchets in it which throw cows. Zombies. Attack the wall. Move over there. Over there. Go. Both in your towers. I'm going to put you there. Actually. Oop. That was Albert de Bordelow's attack. Krill. How's it going, Krell? Go deal with those peasants. Fleeing as they should be. Whoa. 
like that. Through the gate. Up here. Come on. That's crazy. Yes, there he is. Master. Go and deal with him. Oink. Good break it. Go there. Why are you suffering from Why are you suddenly like Critical binding? Are you being shot by someone? No, not zombies. Get up there. I suppose there is archers. Okay. Charge through. Probably, I think it was actually because some of you had gone through the gates. Get over here, deal with him. He's beating up Kemler. Help! Fools. Okay. Kill yourself, mate. That's about guardians. Stop shooting them. They're expensive. Cut him apart. We also see Elberic has got his ident, which is very nice. Honk. <laughs> Knocks a few skeletons over. He's hurry to get away. Get him. He's one man on a horse. Not catch him. Go after him. Camelot, where are you? There you are. Uh, you're up on the walls. Up. Good. He's dead. Go after those girl knights. Or magic going off. I suppose it was that spell which was hurting them so much. Awakening in the woods. Last. Come on. Charge up here. Basically, high king. You know, I'd prefer if you weren't attacking stakes and you're actually attacking people. I wonder if they care about the stakes dying. They've got to. I think the stakes have got. Uh. I think the stakes do have. Oh no, they don't have expendable. Okay, so I suppose to a degree the uh, AI would, or the uh, units would uh, 
panic if stakes started dying around them. I suppose it makes sense in a way. You can sort of say it's like, no, our lines are being breached. And there goes the damsel's head. We get that other damsel. And I think everyone is about ready to shatter. There we go. What's this rock doing in the middle of the road here? Okay, there we go. In battle. The signs of victory! Hey, it wasn't a close battle this time. That's an improvement! Mmm, Drayskin High King lost 816. Yeah, 236 kills by that damsel. Just from Awakening of the Woods. Quite a good spell. At least against, uh, Chaff. Slows units down too, I believe. Using it as Wood Elves against the Peasants is quite nice. Hmm. What's his name? Huebold. <laughs> Pakwe. Ah, uh, who got the most kills in our team? 65 for those shield breakers. 13 for the glooms. One, four for those zombies. Thirteen, twenty-four, zero, five. Now, once I get a few more of the Barrow Guardians units, I'm going to be more. Um, I'm going to be more, like, likely to put them into combat. I just, I, I don't want to lose them. They get focused fire by archers, so. Yeah, at the moment, it's more just, uh, I suppose, using them to draw fire and trying to keep them alive. Um, raise it. There we go. We've got the other trickster shard. Ooh, nice. Yeah, war banner. And people are dead. Spread the rot. Okay, you went up another level to level 10. I am going to give you... Hmm... Curse of Undeath. Okay. Is uh Borderlow still around somewhere? Why does it say they have an army there? They don't own Aquitaine. <laughs> Why aren't they dead? Oh look. Our oh, hearts owned by Empire Rebels. Um Ooh, I see that. Harald Sidious. Rockblood tribe. I think they're located over here. In Ulthwan. Oh, end turn. Uh, the Rockblood tribe is one of the factions added by Ovi and Lost Factions by Shaky Rivers. It, they have multiple locations where they start on the map. One of their settlements is in Ulthwan. Uh, another one is in Brass Keep. I think there's another location down near, uh, what's it called? Kazador Dragon Slayer. Um, the Dwarf Faction down in the mountains south of Black Crag. And, uh, Karak Eight Peaks. So. There's a few factions like that in uh, Lost Factions. There's um, trolls have several starting, several 
uh, settlements from the beginning, and Clan Ugma also start with two settlements. They used to start with all of them, but the uh, Trolls faction was split up into Clan Ugma, and also sort of just wild trolls. So that you'd end up with troll armies attacking you still. Um, it, ones which aren't associated with Clan Ugma. Yeah, that's Matthew. Oh, up there, he ran off. Okay. The Red Duke claims Aquitaine. Let us make doom. Settle there. I obey. Move here. In camp again. Uh, we've actually got quite a nice amount of income. How's this going? Cool, good. I am going to get... That will get us Barrow Guardians. Do I want this? Or should I wait for a turn to get another building? Uh... Next one would be costing seven. I need to get that. Oh, we can get both of them actually. Sure, get both of them. And now... Ah, necromatic power is high. Specific landmarks can be occupied. Let's actually see this. Uh, Keep it as high as possible to avoid faction-wide penalties and unlock beneficial effects. So, we have 63. So, for high is 60. Magic item drop chance is plus 20%. Upkeep is minus 45% for all units. Ward recruitment capacity is plus 3. Leadership is plus 5. Recruitment cost is minus 45%. Kemla can return from defeat plus one more time. Um... So if that's higher than it was before, I don't see an extra stored life there, but... Uh, capacity plus one for zombie dragons. We can recruit a zombie dragon. Um, it's under one of our trees. And specific landmarks can be occupied. Elbion, Altar of Darkness, Altdorf, Corone, Castle Drakenhof, Drakenfels, Galbaraz, Grond, Lamia, and Pyramid of Nagash. I'm surprised Nagash is there isn't on there. Um, but yes, Galbaraz is Orcane, I think its name is changed to with the mods I have. Uh, Drakenfels is Blackstone Post up here. Uh, Altar of Darkness, it's all the way over in Nagarond here. Uh, here. Out of ultimate darkness. And... Albion. Well. Conquata. That is something we could go for. Maybe. Um, uh, but yeah, I think I'll go for Blackstone Post at the moment. We'll probably get to there next time, though. Um, so, let's see. You can recruit. I uh, get unquiet lances. Combine these skeletons. Some shield breakers. There we go. And Kebla. Your army would... Ooh, that's actually really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Our hordes each have their own uh, recruitment capacity. So... We don't have to worry about only building up our armies one at a time. Um, get rid of you. Oh. And you. Okay, so get you... Skeleton Spears. Unquiet Horsemen. I'm going to combine you two. And I'm going to get another unit of Skeleton Spear Throw. There we go. 
Okay, in turn. How we go? Yeah, well, just past two hours for the recording, at least, anyway. Uh, okay. Musalon is in quite a good position. They have Castle Baston, Gisserol, Musalon, Bordelo, and Aquitaine. They at least own one full province with Bordelo. Um, and they should be able to hold on to it. Should? Um, if we were to raise Montfort, that would help them quite a bit to be able to get Castle Baston. Gisserol would be Artois up there. Leoness also. Aron is. Hmm. I mean, we're not here just to carry them. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of. Musil helping Musalon has sort of been, you know, a side thing, a side effect of us raising these areas. And I'm just happy that they're uh, settling the ruins. Nice to see. Partly. I'm partly happy that they're settling the ruins. Because it means that we have a strong ally here, on the other hand. Um... Ally. Wait. Oh, because we're trespassing Our against them? Really? Of course, I was expecting you. Why can't we get military access? I thought we had military access with you. So, here I am talking about it, and uh, minus 79 because we're trespassing against friggin' Musalon. Well, whatever. I'm the Wanderer, I wonder where I please. Uh, I might just end up leaving their territory. I'm going to annoy them so much just by hanging around here all the time. Uh, because every turn was sat, set in the settlements. It's also not that I've been trespassing purposely, it's just... They keep claiming the regions where we are, so... Uh, such a pain. Okay. Uh, you... So, what are the embalmed ones? Let's see. Ooh, wow! I didn't see that! The, uh, recruitment cost is zero. Why is the recruitment cost zero? That seems a bit hefty. Grayskin hiking. I'll keep, yeah, minus 45% recruitment cost. Uh, plus... Minus 15% for this, so that's 45... 60, minus 60%. Yeah, just have a look over here. What's the uh, bonuses you're getting? Minus 60, minus 67 percent. And... Yeah, it seems a bit high. Or is it this building? No, that's only horde growth. That doesn't give any benefits. That doesn't give any benefits. Hmm. I don't think it should be zero. What are your ancillaries? Yeah, you don't even have one which reduces upkeep re uh, recruitment cost. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's neat. <laughs> Seems a bit heavy, though. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of them. Uh, get. Spears. And we'll get two units of the Barrow Guardians with pole arms. They'll be nice. What's your? Yours is. You've got a little bit. Hmm. 
Press F. <laughs> is this F in chat? Or is this for upkeep or something? Now we need another unit. I will get one of the embalmed ones. Axe infantry. How do they compare against them? Bound ones. Do they compare 120? Yes. Yes. I thought that. <laughs> um. Okay, so axe infantry, they're quite slow. Yeah, there we go. Uh, they have 35 armor, 24 leadership, the same speed, 19 more melee attack, 20 more melee defense, 14 more weapon strength, and 7 more charge. Also more health. Which is interesting, considering they're in a smaller squad. Uh, yeah. They also have a uh, weakness to fire, I think. Yes. Okay, so they're like tougher zombies. Embalming techniques were not up to par with the Neheka and Powers in the south, but these honoured warriors are still somewhat preserved, though jerky and combustible. Uh... Ah, uh, just getting units of shield breakers. What's your armor piercing actually? Seven and twelve bonus versus infantry. Yours is twenty-three. Okay, you're better. End turn. And we'll try and get out of Musalon's territory. I'm just gonna have to give them a gift or something. Ah. Uh. Such a pain. It's just because they keep claiming the settlement's behind me, so every time they've been claiming the settlement, I've been there and I've been trespassing. Because I'm like, hey, we own this place, boo. Uh, whatever. I thought we were all buddy buddy. Uh, Helmgart was just raised? Yeah, Helmgart was just raised. And I think it was just claimed. <laughs> I don't think I've seen so much fighting over the, uh... ...forts before. We encountered a Shade Wraith. I have seen Strigoi more noble than you. Your offer then. Ooh. How mean. Um, let's go over here. Yes, the time is right. Hello. We'll get out of your territory. I have to go around and up there because I don't want to just go straight up there. Okay, can we like do you? I have seen Strigoi more gift. noble than How much would a large gift be? Your offer, then. How much money do we have? We have 13,444. Uh, not that much. Yes. Ugh. Yeah, that's not going to cover it. Minus 95. That was minus 71 before. Probably just because of our, both of our armies. Um. Are you sure we can't get? No. What, my king? Actually, can we not ask for uh? Yes. 
military access? Now stand before. Maybe we can't ask for military access because we don't have territory. Saying out should slowly make them forget it. Yeah, it, it does go down over time. Um. Just annoying as it is, it is all. No, as, as I said, I suppose we can't ask for military access because we don't have any territory with which to offer it for them. Can the beastmen ask for military access? I don't actually, actually know. They don't really tend to have anyone which they would need to ask military access for. Unless it's like Norska. As the beastmen, I've never really bothered. You just go wherever you want to and nuts to it. Uh, I wish I noticed that earlier. It's obvious in hindsight, but... I suppose I assumed that we had military access. Ah, well. Uh, right, so... Yeah, I suppose we'll be uh, dealing with... Bunnell's Paravon Montfort, and then we'll go up and attack the Dwarves. It's a slight detour around these mountains here. We could just pass underneath the mountains, actually. Can the Drace get hiking use that path? He can. I mean, the thing is, is that this has shorter distance, so we can't actually travel that far. And it increases our upkeep cost for our units. Just force march and then spend time replenishing our troops. But the thing is, if I force march, they're going to get upset because we're traversing and they'll probably declare war on me and I don't want to be caught out by them. Um... Built the Shattered Waystones of Athelorn. Um... Oh, wait. Can you go over here? No, you can't. place that there and then hop over there and increased upkeep go there in camp go there camp destroy massive oracle mm. maybe I mean it's pretty weak if I destroy it, though, it would remove a threat against uh, Bretonia. I kind of like the idea of the orcs hanging around here, uh, beating up Bretonia a bit more. So we could attack it as they stop off. Uh... Okay, we'll sit here. Park there. We could have moved up to Massive Oracle and parked there. But we'll hop here and then we'll jump over. Move up to Karak Ziflin. Or we might just hop over and then I'll call it because it's quite late. The shorter distance on the, uh, what's it called? Dark Paths? thingy it's, makes it kind of difficult to use it's mostly because I think the mountains are so big but I understand why it's shorter because it's not as good as the dwarves and the uh, skaven underway and the beast paths and all that. Uh, but yeah the shorter distance makes it rather difficult to use but you know it's not I get that from the uh, penalties and all that you get from using it it is strain strenuous for you to use for your arm. Or that's what I'm that's what I'm getting from the penalties, because it costs it costs more upkeep while you're in it. Middleland get a military alliance with Rackland. So yeah, we can just 
and you. There we go. Got a bit of uh, army upkeep penalty. I wonder how much it costs to uh, settle, settle the settlement. Just sort of says you need high necromatic power. Does it actually reduce necromatic power to settle? I've been assuming that. I was mentioning right at the beginning, um, I think before the recording started, I was looking at a new wood elf, uh, a, a wood elf mod, which was brought to my attention, or which I found mentioned, and um, as well as adding a season system for Orion, which I haven't actually looked at because I was playing a Sturthu again, um, it allows you to actually upgrade your settlements as a wood elves to a second level, the React Alliance. Um, which gives you an extra building slot for it at the cost of one amber. And the amber cost is not as bad in the, with this mod because you get amber from a bunch of from missions which you get, as well as just random events which happen. So you have a bit more leeway with them. Quite nice. Um, because I found just playing as Durthu. I took pretty much all of, uh, I took pretty much all of Bretonia. And, um, afterwards, I went to war with the Empire, and, um, I couldn't hold on to the regions, which I kept. I didn't have enough armies. And then when they took a bunch of my settlements, which had small garrisons, I was in a amber deficit, because I had spent it all on research. That made it quite difficult. Oh. Eric Ziflet has got Trek of Felix. It is forbidden. No, Helmgard is owned by uh, Paravon. Marion Berg is raised? Wow. Okay. Aquitaine. Who? No, not Aquitaine. Uh, Musalon. Are you at war with anyone? To stand before me and ask nope. proves you are no crazy. Yay, our uh, relations are actually improving now. Longer. That's nice. I suppose, yeah, because they like it that we've been trespassing against Paravon, so. We've been trespassing against the right people. Mm. That's all fine. Okay, so, um, we've done a fair bit. We attack Castle Baston, we attack Bordelo, we attack Aquitaine, raised them, Moustalon captured them, they also took Gisserol. Though it looks like it's going to rebel. Um, should probably come back and get Castle Artois again. But, with the necromatic power we have, We're going to be getting Blackstone Post, which also means we're going to be getting a new legend, legendary lord as soon as we own it, because uh, the next one we have up is this one, the Nameless. I'd like to see what they're like. Because to get him, uh, we need Blackstone Post, and then upgrade it to the second level. And then the last one is the Priestesses of Nader, which... Defile six ruins, which we haven't defiled one ruin yet. Uh, ruins are kind of hard to come across. We make ruins and then they get colonized. So, Marienburg is probably going to get claimed by, like, Rhone next turn. This little icon here, Defile Barrows, this does actually change. It's red at the moment to represent the fact that Marienburg was recently raised. Um, as turns go by, I think it's like... I think it's about four turns every four turns it goes from red to yellow and then it will go to green and i don't actually know what that does because i haven't raised any barrows in. um but i believe we get units from it 
we get replenishment from it but our units have this replenishment risen unit our units are fully replaced by desecrating ruins risen units replenish normally and at an increased rate in friendly territory so uh if we raided a barrow we would get our units back because our units are represented as like Rather than, like, raising dead, they're, like, ancient soldiers, which we're getting from Tomb Barrows. So, the Tomb Barrows are being represented by the ruins of settlements. Anyway. Uh, yes. Going on down here. Can't see. Can we see ownership around empires confederated with, uh, Oh, Castle Carcassonne, what are you doing, game? Talibim, yeah, it's Reichland. And all that. How much too odd has changed Musulon? That, that's about it. Uh, but yes, are you still at war with Bretonia? No, I thought you wouldn't be. Uh, with the rise of Musulon, you would ally with Rome pretty quickly. Yeah, you really just... Musulon became a threat, and then you just turned your attention on them. Um, and sort of forgot about your war with Karon. Iwu is minus 35. It's just not enough, so... Okay. Anyway. We will save it there. And we'll continue with this next time where we should be able to take Blackstone Post. I'll probably go and attack a... Karak Ziflin, is it? Yep. We'll probably go to Blackstone Post via Karak Ziflin. Get rid of this army. Oh boy, got track. Felix. Hey, Krell, how do you feel about attacking Gotrek and Felix? That's going to be difficult. Doesn't have any armor. The benefit. Anyway, that will be for next time. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me, I just bumped my microphone. Sorry for that. Ah. Bit, bit of progress. We're getting to see some of the more uh, powerful units of our armies now. Next time, when we get the next battle, we're going to be able to see some of our Barrow Guardians, especially the ones with the pole arms. Also, we got to see the uh, Unquiet Cavalry with their spears, which are nice anti-large cavalry. Which, as I said earlier, is nice to have. Um, and sort of easy to recruit anti-large cavalry option. I think the Vampire Counts normally just have the uh, Blood Knights. Uh, let me see. Uh, hex race aren't anti-large. Black Knights, Lancers of Barding. Yeah, they're just anti-infantry. And Lancers of Barding are armor-piercing. Blood Knights are the only ones with anti-large. Bonus versus large, 22. Also the Dire Pack. 14. They're actually the same as our... Uh, They're the same as our unquiet horsemen. Uh, where are we? Yep. Yep, 14. It's pretty nice to have. Uh, also get to see a bunch of the other things which we'll be able to get, but that will be next time. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll join me for the next one.